we're really starting from scratch in terms of passenger rail at high speeds. Um, so I think there are some distinct advantages if we could actually build out a system that would really facilitate, um, you know, and take advantage of some of these these efficiencies and some of these 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 scale advantages, if you will. Um, but unfortunately, we're nowhere near that at this point. And you know, to my my earlier point, construction costs in the U.S. have really been one of the main obstacles. So it sounds like this isn't going to happen very soon, but it's still in the future for the U.S. And as you mentioned, other economies such as China, throughout Europe, Japan, do have high-speed rail. So it's possible, we just have to get there in the U.S. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally saddened because of my European background. I, I feel like <laughs> there, should, there should be more of a, um, you know, it really shouldn't be that hard to get a high-speed rail system built. I think there are environmental advantages. I, I think you can have some real benefits from the operation of a high-speed rail system, especially at a time when everybody is now focused on decarbonization of transportation. I think you could, on a you know per-passenger mile um, basis, you could be having you know, a transportation system that would have much lower environmental impacts compared to our current system.